by Superior with Fortune, and a brand new music from Seba Kap Kapstad with uh, Africa. This is the Urban Sweet Chaos Wham 91.1 FM, the major Cheryl Metal with you. Hey, and hey. As promised. Hey, hey. <laughs> there we go. Hey. hey. And uh, as promised for our uh, second interview tonight for our open mic session, it is AMB AMG. A M B easy. You know who it is. <laughs> yeah, y'all know the rest, man. Y'all tune in, man. Check me out. I'm about to talk all kind of edited noise to y'all. <laughs> before we go. even get started, though, man. Before we even get started, yeah. I gotta, I gotta put it on for San Antonio, man, and say, R. I. P. Nipsey Hussle off the rip. Yes, indeed. Yes, good, indeed. good people do die young, man. Apparently, so. R.P. Nipsey Hustle, man. We got to get the balloon release thing going. We got to get all that, man. We got to show support just like everybody else, man. San Antonio got to, you know, up to par with it. Let's go. All right. So, uh, originally from San Antonio, so? Yes, sir. Eastside. Born and raised. Eastside. Look, man, I'm so Eastside. I went to <laughs> I went to W. W. White Elementary. Uh -huh. Jeff Davis Middle School. Sam okay. Houston High School. Okay. And St. Phillips College. They all <laughs> right down the street from each other. That's, That's Eastside. Side. That's Eastside for you. <laughs> Good. So, how did um, being born, raised, pretty much cultured in Eastside, develop your love of hip hop? Man, it's always been in me, man. Like my uncles, man, my uncles instilled all of this music in me. Me and my brother and my cousin. My cousin, my blood cousin is Lil Poop from Bad County Boys. So, the music has always been instilled in us since we were kids like my uncles managed like he had a, his own group uh, I think it's One Shade of Black or something like that he had his own singing group they, he was managing them he was a photographer for New Edition right. like we, we've always been around music it's always been photographer around. for New Edition yes sir word yes sir oh we've always been around music man it's just, that's just how it's been for us like since kids since kids man <laughs> he's looking at me like no 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 cause, cause you know you, you don't think about certain aspects of of the I mean, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's it's something simple as a photographer but getting all that recognition and going around the world with such a high class act as an edition right coming, that's that's why that's why people here. gotta understand man that it's, it's, it's more it's more ways to get there than just music I mean photography is one videography it's, it's so many ways modeling Everything, man. Like, like you see people grinding with the t-shirts. Like Jason Shields, he grinding with t-shirts, man. You got uh, you got grind harder clothing. You got uh, uh, well respected. Everybody grinding, man. It's it's always a way. Mm -hmm. You just gotta find that way. DJs, engineers, radio personalities. It's always a way, man. You just can't focus on just one thing. That's why an entertainer is an entertainer and an artist is an artist. It's totally different. True. True. Amen. <laughs> so, uh, from that, um, when did you drop your first project? Ooh. Ooh, I dropped my first project in 2005. It was a self-titled album that had 10 tracks on it. 10 tracks, yeah, I remember that. Uh, Peace of Mind, man, I recorded it, most of it at Peace of Mind Studio with uh, B.A. Beats. Yeah, I still remember that. This was a long time ago, man. This was a while back. Wild back. Yeah, a while back. This is when, this is when I was going by Slim Easy. Mm -hmm. Now it's A and B Easy. But... <laughs> It was a while back, man. It was it was pretty cool though, man. I enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. Music is a passion for me, so. Do you see how I'm an original copy? Yeah, somewhere? I do. Really? I do. Yeah. The only one I don't have is my second release. I cannot find it, but I do have my first release. It's actually on my laptop in front of me. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got all that. This is I. This is when 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 I did music. I didn't even use profanity. Really? I didn't use profanity at all. Like on that first album, none. Man. And then I got hurt by a woman, and it was over with. <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. I'm joking. Yeah, I use I use quite a bit of it now, but we can't do that up here. You know what I mean, Cheryl? Don't don't be don't be hitting on me, Cheryl. <laughs> I left the baseball bat at home. You're safe. Oh, wow. Man. Hey, uh, stay tuned, y'all. We got more coming up with A and B Easy right here, plus uh, music. And yeah, just hold on tight. Let's go ahead and give you some brand new music from an artist called Dirty Needles uh, featuring DJ M Rock. The track is called Paradise, right here on uh, the Urban Sweet Cast Web 90.1 FM. Amen. 
truthfully, <coughs> truthfully, man, my first project, when I dropped my first project, on for my first project, I already had got on 98.5 ready. Really? Off my first project, yeah. The song that I got on there was called Do It Real Big. And this when I was a teenager, man, so my mom's cut off the Super Bowl. Cause they were playing my song. She cut off the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, she cut off the Super Bowl, and the whole, the, my whole hood was outside, just like, oh, 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 oh. That's why I say what I say when I'm saying, don't just send the song. Do this, 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 then send it. That's why, because I learned from experience. Like I, like I said, I did four interviews on that 98.5 to Texas Beat Camp. So it's like, I mean, I know what I'm talking about. I ain't trying to sound like a muggle or nothing like that, but I mean, I'm, I'm trying to give you the game, then I'm showing you what you already got to do. You might well do it and get it out the way. But it is what it is, man. On my first project, it was, uh, like I said, it was 10 tracks, self title album. I got the cover on my phone, too. I got all of that stuff. All 10 tracks is on my laptop. The second project I put out was called Cause and Effect. Um, then the, from the third one, it turned into doing mixtapes. It's the Measy volume one, two, and three. And then I did, yeah, I've been out. Man, look, I set up a studio in my daughter's room. She was asleep. I'm in there recording. She wake up. I'm holding her while I'm recording. All of that, man. Like, I'm going. I ain't, I wasn't slacking. I wasn't stalling. None of that. And St. Louis came about. And that pretty much just turned me up for the, in the city. Like, any of these artists will tell you I'm the club god when it comes to making those <coughs> club tracks. I'm the god at that in this city. Like ain't nobody, can't nobody get with me on that. But that's that's as slim easy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to, I'm kind of pulling myself back a little bit to reinvent myself, mm -hmm. to to talk about how I really be that, how I really live. So that's where A and B easy comes in. CPA just got on my lap. See, he the one that was uh, recording. But yeah, man, I, I've been doing this for a little minute, so kind of got some experience in it. Like, I've been on tour before, yeah. been in 10-hour sessions with the GS boys. That's who's the main dude that's making it. Yeah. I've been, I done been some places, but I've been some places. So, I mean, I'm kind of laid back. I don't really, like, boast and brag about it, but, you know, I've done quite a bit. Yeah, you don't have to brag. You have a huge resume. And you built a lot of good relationships over the years, like with the GS boys. That's letting your work speak for itself. Somehow nobody really like, hates me. Like, I'm the hopeless man. I mean, somebody hates me. They ain't gonna stay in their gym every day. Like, they can say that a lot of they ain't really making no difference to me. <clears throat> As of yet, no one has said it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. heck yeah. yeah. And I'm not trying to just do music forever, man. I know it's a time limit on it. Y'all were looking to uh, an agent? Yeah. Maybe a shopping room? Yeah. I talked to one earlier that I'm trying to uh, get the attention of. I sure don't know who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> being on TV shows. I do, uh, I've been writing my, uh, I've been writing a stand-up comedy show. Really? Yeah, I've been writing that. See, like, I, <laughs> I got a lot to talk about, man, like, I, like, I've been writing a stand-up comedy show, man, like, I can't tell you none of the jokes, because it's like a lot of, it's a lot going on. Well, right now, yeah, I can tell you afterwards, but, uh, yeah, I got like, uh, like three to four skits already laid out. I just got to, finish it up man I'm, yeah I got a lot I'm working on now at one time I do my own graphics so I used to do my own videos like when I when around my first project first mixtape I was doing my own videos I'd find a random person hey hold this camera for me <laughs> run it, run it woo, woo, woo. and then I'd go home and mix out like cut it up myself mm -hmm. YouTube so wow. when YouTube came out I would put my own videos up wow 
That's grand. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like I need to get back to that. I can have my brother hold the camera. You could. Yeah. yeah. I got. I just got a beat machine, so. Oh dang! Okay. okay. Once I learned that, it's it's the rap. Yeah, my daughter got a beat machine and she got uh, the CD deck mm -hmm. and a yeah, microphone DJ, and DJ. yeah, she's going to be going to town. Who's this? Low Dad. Uh. I put one of my uh, 98.5 interviews on my YouTube Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I was performing at the venue. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DJ, uh, DJ Ghost is the first person to put me on a show. Oh, wow. And Cruz, Cruz, Katika, and Ghost. Oh, was that for Cruz's birthday? Uh, it was two shows before that. Okay. But nobody thought I was from San Antonio. They were like, man, what is you now from Houston or something? Dallas or something? Uh, I want my venue back. Hey man, that's eight hundred live now, right? Uh-huh. Right. Somebody was uh, somebody's doing the event in there. Uh, I think next week. It's a show in there. Uh, I think uh Kill uh Killer Kali will be there. Okay, good. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think next week. Yeah. Who's promoting that? Or or not promoting the property. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I didn't even look at the promoter. I just was like eight hundred live. I know that address. Yeah. At eight hundred Lexington, right? I was like, I know that address, so I clicked on it and that's the club. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. But that's what Lil Sin's birthday party was at. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was great. Yeah, that was, was really, really great. Yeah, I didn't even get to go. Lise would love this. Man, yep. We brought up my uh, we brought up my first project, man. I remember all the work that I put in on that. My first project, I I went and took all the like my mom's had CDs in her room, like actual CDs, R. Kelly and all of that stuff. I went and took all the artwork out of those CD cases and put my own in them. <laughs> and that was the first that's the first time I had like CD cases and everything like that. Oh, that's great. My album was all packaged up like that. Oh, that's great. And then on the second one, I had the flu and I was still printing up CDs. Just I couldn't even barely breathe. I'm still printing up my CDs. Oh. <laughs> but it's work, man. To make this music stuff jump off. Mm -hmm.
We heard music from Dirty Needles with Paradise featuring DJ M Rock. Music from Technique G featuring Evolve with Still Struggling. And the latest from Flow Dad with Welcome to London. This is the Urban Sweet KSYM 90.1 FM, the major Cheryl Metal at AMD Easy. Yes, sir. Hey. So, um, just talking off air, you've been putting in work. Yeah, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Explain uh, the people your journey through all of this, and, and actually being a, a lot of it, um, when you explain it, being self-sufficient in a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I've, I've been rocking with the GS boys for a while. Like pretty much, uh, like majority of the artists from Dallas, man. Like, I wish uh, Big Steve, Mr. Elevation. I wish he was here, cause he can verify everything that I'm saying. Yeah. And he can verify all of this stuff that I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. I've been rocking with them for a while. I met them through uh, Big Dre. Y'all yeah, remember Big Dre the Bodyguard? Yeah. Oh I yes. Through, I met them oh, yeah. through him, and then mm-hmm. uh, from then on, we just became like real friends, man. Like. I just was. I just missed the baby shower. He's having a baby. I just missed the baby shower bro, like two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh wow! These are my boys, man. They they slept in my house, man. They edited my mom's crib. Like these are my boys, like real, like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, B Hamp's another one, man. I mean, I'm in all of these dudes' videos. If you want to go verify it yourself, I I mean, feel free. But I'm in all these dudes' videos, man. I done pulled up the video shoots and all of that stuff, man. So, I mean, I've been I've been doing this for a while. Like I told you. Um. Most of those Dallas people, I know most of them. And then uh, I also got a couple of connects in uh, Houston. Uh-huh. Uh, I remember, you know, uh, our RP Hawk, you know Hawk, right? Yes. Okay, well, his artist was uh, the, the Grit Boys. Okay. Okay, Scooby is like my, that's like, that's my partner too, man. I know him too, like, personally. Wow. Personally, I know their kids type deal. So, I build rapport with people. You know what I'm saying? I don't just meet people and then, hey, that's it. Like if Point Blank walked in here right now, he'll know who I am just by my face. Yes, it's it's, it's that blank, type of deal. Point Blank, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Murder yeah, yeah. One, K yeah. Reno. Yes. I run into him in Waffle House, man, and he just hey, man, what you hey. mean? Hey, like, man, what's up, man? You know, it is what it is. You know, I know, I, I know, I know a few people. I've been on, like I said, I've been on a couple of tours and stuff. So, mm-hmm. life, life's life's good. Yeah, life's good. Man, Cheryl Meta, put me on. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, always, always, DJ, always. DJ Ghost, a.k.a. 750, put me on. Yep. Him and Cruz, man, like, like I was telling y'all, man, at the venue, that was the name of it, mm-hmm. the venue, 800 Lexington. Right. My first show. Man. They let me put on my first album release party, man, and I went up there and just, this is when I had two songs complete recorded. So in order for me to make 10 minutes, I had to go acapella with my other song that I hadn't recorded yet. Wow. But it was it was a song that was for just completely for females. So I would go grab the first female that I got to come to the front of the stage with the other uh-huh. songs and I would just rap it right in her face and walk off. So I'm like, I'm like oh, oh I'm like relax man, relax. Wow. <laughs> yeah, all the parties we did over at the venue were amazing. Yeah man, Frank Dog, J Star. Big Cliff, all of us, all of us was at the venue, all at the same time. Wow. Yep. That was, yep, that, yep. Was, that was crazy. And see, what was great is I was able to mix the rap side and the hip hop side. Right. So not only did I have the East side in there, but I had um, Kaiser, who was manifest at the time, all right. the audio forensics. Right. You know, like we we and we broke great great music, great great artists from Akon there too. Yeah, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. That that kind of like set the tone for the, the, the local shows. Yeah. That kind of like set the tone for it actually because there wasn't really much of that going on until then. Wow. History. Yeah. Yeah. They right. deserved it. Yeah. And yes. I've been part of it. So I'm good. Absolutely. <laughs> this I'm telling you this before profanity, before alcohol. I didn't do none of that. Man. I was green. <laughs> I guess that's a better word. Green. He, he was green, but he ran that stage. Oh, yeah. Man, that's, that's, ran that's that a, stage. Yeah. Man, Always. Like I, tell my, like I tell my boy Nelly Nell, man, I'm like, like he, he, when he performed, he give you that energy. He's going to jump off the stage. He's going to jump right in your face. All that. Uh-huh. I was like, man, I did all that already, bro. But it is good for showmanship, though. Yes, it, will, it will get you in some doors that you didn't think were going to open. Man. That's for sure. We're going to chop up some uh, more with uh, AMD Easy in just a moment. 
we're going to uh, go ahead and get into uh, a special track, uh, unreleased, until now. Until now. <laughs> until now. Stop oh, yeah. Uh, music from uh, Square Business Clip and oh, the boy. Kid Boots. Shout yeah. out to Kid Boots. Free the Kid Boots. Shout out to Dojo DJs. Yes, indeed. Music. Uh, the track is called Wraith. Let's go ahead and get into it right here. It is there. Love you, Boots. Right yes. Love you, Boots. Let's go ahead and get into it. KS one ninety point one FM. Talking to his manager, man, and he the one that that, that that broke it down to me, like how how it's really all about social media at this point. This is when social media like was like taking everything over. Yeah. He was telling me like, well, the viewers for this gotta be that, and this gotta be that, this that, this that, this that. So I'm like, damn. And it was crazy because Twist was a kid at the time, so this fool was walking around with a bag full of candy. No, no lie, he had a duffel bag. It was full of candy. Oh my god. <laughs> and a laptop. He was a kid. This one he had the mohawk. Kid. And this this is when uh uh we were in the studio with Ace One, uh, Lil Twist, um, his boy uh, Zay, uh, Ace One, me, Big Dre. We all in the studio at the same time. So Justin Bieber FaceTimes. Oh what? And he calls him. He like this. They had they they Mac laptops. So he FaceTimes him on the laptop. This is when Justin Bieber was was he had just done that song with Ludacris. Yeah. The song hadn't even come out yet. So he like, hey, hook up to the hook up to the board. I'm gonna let you hear my new single. I ain't supposed to let nobody hear it, but I'm gonna let you because that's the best friend. Uh -huh. So that's the song he played, the one with Ludacris. So we just sitting here like, damn, that's that's hard. Like, <laughs> then three months later, the radio was tearing it up with that song. I'm like, damn, I heard this shit already. Like, I heard this like months ago. <laughs> Cause I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Wow. Nobody knew who Justin Bieber was at the time. Yes. Then when I heard that song, I was like, damn. Oh, no, shit, that's crazy. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Crazy stories, man. Did it really charge the car? Huh? Okay. What? Cause I don't know if you're bro. Oh, yeah. I didn't bring my iPhone charger. I forgot. I got mine. That's okay. I got enough charge on here to take pictures. It's a so that's charge. good. So I'm live on your phone. Oh. Okay. And then I have yeah. my tablet I can use. That song, uh, I truly and Prince Rick walk around the club, fuck everybody. Yes, yeah. Well, they were pushing this song called Senorita or something like that, Tequila or something like that. So, me and Big Steve were backstage with these dudes, and we like, What y'all doing? Why are y'all pushing that? That's that probably shouldn't be pushing that song. I don't know why y'all are doing that, but y'all need to be doing that, fuck everybody song. He's like. They fuck with that out here? I said, go on stage and do it right now and watch what happens. So, like, if you go on my YouTube, you see I'm, I'm up there recording on my, on my phone and videoing the whole performance. But we were in the room and we like, don't do that song, bro. Don't do that. Do this one. And ever since they, 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 they took off with it, we tell them, man, don't use that song. That song ain't going to get you. It ain't going to do it. But he was like, man, the Kylie Park got us doing that. And we're like, man. Like, I got, I got some stories, bro. Like, 
I got some real stories like <laughs> Yeah, it's that A Love cat we got, baby. Oh, this is him? Yeah. Oh, shit. Man, he didn't even get to, my guy didn't get to edit those two songs that I wanted to sing, y'all. Got a song called Don't It. And, um, mm -hmm. and another song, that uh, the other song, Show Up. I wanted to sing, y'all, those two. That's all right. That's all right. So, that's what they play at night. Just send it to us and we'll give you a little taste. That song with me and Mitch James, man, that's, that's it's crazy, man. We performed that song and, the, and they were like, the, the crowd was like, do a video. Do a video. <laughs> right, uh, Supremes was performing. Do a video. I'm like that. So, so y'all gonna come to the video? We shoot a video. Hell yeah. I was like, okay, okay. Calm down. That's uh, that's what's uh, that's on the bill for this. Mm -hmm. That's what Ray Ray was just saying, man. Y'all, y'all sleeping on that song. It ain't me, Ray Ray. Mitch just got, you know, he got his thing going right now, his trap land thing he's doing right now. So. He's plotting. Yeah, so once that's, once that's, you know, if you feel like that's dying down, then, you know, he'll move on to the next thing. Yeah. It's all about timing with this music stuff. True, so true. I was told a long time ago, don't, you just can't never let anything get old. No matter what song it is, you just can't let it go. Yeah. We heard music from Square, uh, Square Business Cliff and Kid Boots with Wraith, and uh, the latest from A Luck with Saucy. This is the Urban Sweet Cast Web 90.1, the Major Cheryl Metal, and Be Easy in the studio. Yes, indeed. Hey, shouts out to Nisa. Yes. Nisa the Buddha tuned in. We yes, love indeed. you. We got so many people tuned in. You know, I wanted to give a shout out earlier to, uh, to our neighbors. Yes. Nate and James that were tuned in listening to Mitch James. Yes, indeed. And, and, and I told Mitch about the time we pulled up and, or you pulled up and, and uh, they're over there banging Trapland, yeah. our next door neighbors. So that's really cool. So shouts out to you guys. Yeah. Uh, AMB, uh, easy. Yes, sir. Um, the transition from Slim Easy to AMB, easy. Why? Quick answer. Growth. Perfect. <laughs> growth. Perfect. And, and speaking of growth, um, what do you see in the growth from what you've done before, your experiences before, to what you are preparing to bring to the world now? Well, before, it was real it's, It was real effortless for me to do pointless turn-up music, is what I call it. Like, it just, it don't really have a point. It's just, it's just feeling music. Like, it'll get you going. Now, I got more of a message in everything I'm saying. Okay. If you really listen to what I'm saying, it's a message in it. Even if it's a, a club track where I, I got a lot of twerking going on behind me, still listen to what I'm saying because I'm saying something that you that you might want to take in. Somebody need to hear this. You, you've seen that statement on Facebook quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, current project, um, are you in... Um, Recording or uh, production right now, or I never stop recording, bro. Never. I always, I'm always doing something. 
Like I get I get uh, yelled at all the time at home. Like she's always like, sit down, sit down. I'm always on the move, bro. Nah, man. Uh, I just dropped uh, the 4300 mixtape. I mean, uh, EP. It's not a mixtape. It's an EP. I just dropped the 4300 EP right now. It's on iTunes, Spotify. You know, all the streaming sites. You can go get it wherever you want to go. Um, even Google Play for you, Samsungers. I mean, hey, hey, you know, you gotta have a route too. So, I mean, that's everywhere right now. I'm a, uh, I'm working on. Uh, well, actually, I'm done with uh, 4300 too. Oh really? Yeah, I'm done with that. That's a, it's another EP. I'm done with that too. I'm already working into part three. Wow, makes the mass of everything. Just waiting for everything. the right time to drop it. It's, it's, it's everything. All right. Trey Wave, man. I've been I've been dealing with Trey Wave, man. He's been recording me, so he does all that mixing, mastering, and everything all in one package. Nice. So I don't have to go. Cheryl record me. That's that's the that's the look. Yeah, right I don't have to go sure. to Cheryl to get recorded and D major to mix and master. I can just go to one person, one avenue, everything's there. <clears throat> yeah, so the third one is already in process. The second one's already done. I'm about to go I might I'm probably gonna make the cover art myself tonight. Okay. That's my that's my thing, man. When I when I'm on my spare time I make all the graph everything that you've ever seen my face on, I made it myself. Except for the, my uh my first for my uh my first album. That's the only one I didn't make. Well, you do really good work. Everything you see me on, I mean, yeah, you really do. And you know, I like job. that. It should be done in house like that. I, I firmly believe that that all of this. If you're an artist, these are the things you should know and you should be doing because this is your business. Once I get Most my definitely. once I get my studio back up and running, I'm not paying to record no more. I'm just paying for mixing master. There you go. Yeah, yeah my daughter rap too. Oh. Really? Yeah, my daughter rap too. She got a song called Play Doh right now. No, you'll have to bring uh, her in next time. Yeah, she 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 loves she loves music. Like she's she's seen me doing this music since she can even walk. So music is already oh. in her too. So it's 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 done and over with. That's now. wonderful she, to hear. <laughs> San Antonio legacy. I love it. Yeah, she already knows what she want to do. She raps. That's that's her thing. So yeah, she good. she want to be a rapper and a singer when she grows up. Is what she said. So okay. Yeah, wow. Everything in my power. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that happens. What's so, her name? Her name is Lyric. Lyric? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lyric, we can't wait to have you up to the Urban yeah. Suite Radio yes. Show. Yes, indeed. I got two daughters, Lyric and Melody. Oh, <laughs> oh, they're both going to be, oh, oh, yeah, they're both coming up here. They're yeah, both yeah, coming up here. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, man, I got the uh, 4300 EPs already on iTunes and everything. Then the second one is coming. Uh... I'm planning on dropping somewhere around um, May 28th. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to, uh, I'm, I'm going to just tell y'all this. I'm trying to drop every two months. Okay. Good every track every two months. I'm going to try to drop every two months. I did that okay. I did that in like 2010. I was uh -huh. dropping every two months. Mixtape, mixtape, mixtape. So I'm going to try to drop every two months, whether it's an EP, a single, or something. I'm going to drop every two months. I like good. that. That's good. That keeps everybody's attention. Exactly. That's yeah. hence, hence the green hair on my head. There you go. <laughs> and it looks so good. You gotta, you gotta draw attention, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not finna tattoo my forehead and then like that. No, uh, please uh, don't. No, please don't. don't. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But it is what it is. We're gonna get this going, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, hey, uh, how can people get in contact with you to uh, network, to uh, book you for a show? Etc. 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 Uh, the fastest way will be Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is amb.ez. Okay. Simple. Very simple. Simple. Straight Nobody had the point. name, so I and I was surprised. Well, not you know what? That's another reason why I switched from Slim Easy to AB because it's like multiple Slim Easy started popping up out of nowhere. I was like, yeah. wait a minute. And now hold on. Now I don't do rock and roll. Now who is this dude? Right. I, I know that ain't me. I, I don't like slime and all that, so <laughs> I know that ain't me. But yeah, like multiple ones started popping up. My brother called me one day. He's like, hey, man, uh, you know it's like four of them on there, right? I was like, what? I'm like, oh, okay. Time to switch it up. Yep. Time to switch it up. Okay. So now when you go Google AMB Easy, everything about me pop up. Nice. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get to uh, this track you did with uh, Abstract. Oh, yeah, man. This is... uh. Dripping Walking, man, is featuring my boy Abstract, man. Hey, I'm telling y'all, man, this, I'm, the, I'm the club king of San Antonio. Y'all yeah. gonna have to either, either, you don't have to respect it. <laughs> Just know it. Just know it. Just know that it is. Just know it. Come on, man, let's get into a Dripping Walking. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Y'all stay tuned. Got more coming up. This is the Urban Sweet KSWAM 90.1 FM.
my music. I, I, everybody, everybody is a gangster or a drug dealer and all that stuff, man. So like, <laughs> I gotta make something that's, that's different. Not, yeah, it's not the same, like. like his sound. You just wouldn't think that that's him when you see him. Mm -mm. It's like, what the fuck? That's you? Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one of his videos on the, the, um, on my San Antonio music video list on the Going South Magazine YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And there's a song by him on there and every time that it pops up, I'm like, who is, oh damn, it's, that, <laughs> it's, it's like shocking me every single time, yeah, it's really him, good. I talked to him earlier, man, and I was telling him, like, hey, man, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. He's like, for real, word, yeah. We heard music from AMB Easy and Abstract with Driven Walking. This is the Urban Suite KSYM 90.1 FM, the Major Cheryl Metal, AMB Easy. It is about time for us to wrap it up. Before uh, we get out of here, uh, just a few quick notes. Um, tomorrow, Reggae Bar, Haku Vita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you have to be there. Like, um, this is. Micah Nine, Micah Nine abstract and Rude. and Abstract Rude shouts out to Abby Rizzle and and AC alone. alone one like this is ridiculous and I'm glad to have you know my own part in it because shouts out to Lise Love she told Abstract Rude to hit me up and I was like okay you know everybody's kind of got something going on reach out to Kevin over at reggae bar and he did and boom that got hooked up so shouts out to them no don't ring no it's Avar Avar the stars on the line and April 11th <laughs> April 11th uh, track battles with Mark Gonzalez hold on put an Avar on the speakerphone Avar the star what's up man I'm listening to y'all Listen, look, That's look good. at That's you. Good, huh? <laughs> it's definitely me. That was a hot track, man. You went hard. Hey, I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. I can hear you. I taught you well. 
Uh, he said he taught you well. <laughs> hey, man, we got to get one in, though, bro. Honestly, you sure we gotta, did. We got to get one in, man. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, pal, let's get together. All right, yeah. bro. And we got to bring right, you back up. Uh, All right, bro. There you go. Take care, Avar. All right, bye. Bye. Hello, right. we got to bring Avar back up here because yeah, when you were on air here originally five and a half years ago, Avar was one of the MCs that uh, we had up here. So we definitely got to bring you back, Var. You already know. You, you yeah. know where it is. You got to do it. And you know you got to be up here. We got to, be, you know. Oh, I'm gonna call up here just like he did me. Yeah, okay. but yes, do it. Do it, do it. <laughs> so, so Hakuta Ta on Tuesday, um, track battles over at the Gallery Club on Thursday, along with your oh, yeah. video I, shoot. I was sure about to jump in there. Look, yeah, I'm, I'm shooting a video for uh, my new single. Man, it's called um, Show Out. It's called Show Out. I'm going to shoot this Thursday. I'm going to start at 8 p.m. at Supreme. Mm -hmm. They let me use the inside. I got all the dancers in the city. Awesome. No, I'm about to come out here and, and, and they're going to show y'all some stuff that y'all ain't never seen before. Awesome. Yeah. My boy KP hit me before I came here today. Shouts out to like, KP. Yeah, he told me, man, look, we finna go over some choreo tonight. <laughs> uh... I said, hey, man, do your thing. Don't let me, don't let me hold you up. I need all the twerkers. I need everybody for this video shoot because I already got my I, I got my line for uh, BET jams and all that. So it's gonna it's gonna be epic. Nice. And I, I heard you need some low riders to pull up yeah, for uh, yeah, for that yeah, too. Yeah. So I got, I got one car club already. They hit me already. I'm like, Word. beautiful, okay. beautiful. Yeah, shout out this my is dude. gonna shout be out dope. Shout out my dude Randall, man. He hit me. He hit me like within ten minutes. Like, what you need? He sent me pictures of all the cars. So. I got nice. Car club already, man. I'm a, uh, nice. I guess, I, guess, I guess I'll be the first one to use the Nipsey paint in the video. Oh, very good. Very cool. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Get all three of the pictures in there because I, I love dude's Cardi B. Hey, man. I really, that, that one was dope. Cardi ain't going to get no attention right now. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all about Nipsey all about right Nipsey, there. You know all right, let's, let's, uh, we've got to wrap this up. So, uh, once again, AMB, easy, thank you. We gotta get you back in. B major, gotta get my name right first. AMB? A M B. Yep. Z. Yeah, exactly. He stumbled. He stumbled a couple times. Well, he's gonna get it. Yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna get, get it. Gonna, it's okay. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. It's okay. Hey, you know, he's gonna, he gonna see a whole lot. Slim more. Easy just rolled off the tongue so well. Ain't nothing slim about me. <laughs> you just that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Not even the slim thick. We can't even do that one. No, no, just, no. And we ain't weren't no, wanting it that no way. Dude, ain't no dude supposed to be thick. We ain't gonna do it. No, that. no. All right, y'all. We gotta go. Hey, uh, Shell and I will be back next week uh, to bring you more uh, hip hop, R and B, and surprises galore. And, yep, uh, yep, yep. And tune into the longest running hip hop radio show in San Antonio that's been <laughs> supporting you since day one, and. Now we're here on 90.1 FM, KSYM. Still. Your only alternative. Look, I do want to thank y'all for having me, though. Oh, it's such a pleasure, and this will not be the last time. Oh, absolutely. You know where we are now. Absolutely. I'll you know, Avar, you know where the door is, too. You always welcome. You I'll always every week if you let me. All right. Hey. All right. You see, we got three chairs. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and I'm going to bring two people with me. Matter of fact, shout out to uh, my Just Stack Money family. My Just Act Money family, man. Yans, man. Y'all look out for my boy Yans. Okay. All right. Got to roll, y'all. Sweet dreams, San Antonio. We will see you next week. Everybody, messaging me.